Arusha Ghana has been involved in the program by Arusha International, which is Climate Stewards, which seeks to involve communities, schools and church communities in planting trees to mitigate the effects of climate change. And this program is aimed at conserving biodiversity, the local indigenous tree species, promoting benefits to communities and also reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere through carbon sequestration by the trees that are planted. This farmland was an abandoned farmland and it was bare. There was no trees until Arusha came in 2007 to support the farmers in the community. We look at trees that can grow around Larbanga community. So the native tree that was identified was the Kepok, the Mahogany, Dawadawa, and Kashu. We managed to visit a number of climate stewards projects in the Ashanti region and also in the northern region. And what impressed me most about these projects was the fact that um, the trees that have been planted have grown so well. This is the type of tree we have here, and this tree is called Kusia. We planted it four years ago. It is not just a matter of establishing plantations. For the student, you also learn about their native tree species, learn how to do intercropping. As you can see behind me, there is the plantains and bananas that have been intercropped. So this is like a simple outdoor laboratory. The very top and tip end of the tree. So you watch with one of the eyes like this, and you make sure that that thread is at the tip end. Allow me to comment on the issue of climate change, which actually motivated Air Russia to come up with climate change initiatives. Protecting our resources for future, you keep them open for nature's delight. They spread to the rainforest. Grief, hunger, want, need. is involved in helping communities establish what is called community resource management areas, which seeks to empower communities by giving them incentives and authority to take care of the resources around them. Here we are talking about protected areas and the off-reserve resources that they have. And through these activities, Arusha is building the capacities of communities, also helping them with livelihood activities to really increase their incomes. One of the major problems before the creamers were established was hunting or poaching. And assessment of the records from the time the creamers were established do actually show that there is a reduction in poaching.
Kuki is a UNESCO heritage site and it is of importance because it has endemic species like the tilapia known as Ebusanama, Narosha Ghana, is involved with UNESCO project here. We have about six different NGOs working on this UNESCO project. Because we know it is of importance to specifically work with communities, we've done consultative meetings with leaders and representatives from all the 24 surrounding communities. Through this program, we have been able to identify specific livelihood interventions that the communities themselves have come out with for which they are ready. The interventions were one, grass cutter railing, two, snail farming, three, mushroom farming, and the fourth intervention has to do with beekeeping. Grass cutter is a rodent and uh, it has a high production rate because within one year, grass cutter is able to litter about two times. We aim to train community members in all that four areas and also give them startups. For us, we want our presence to be here always so that continually we'll be giving technical guidance to these local people. We have formed the committees who together will be working with to really realize the aim for this particular project. I would say that all the communities that we have been working in, we have gained the trust of, of the people. It's good that people are eventually coming to grasp with the, with the fact that we cannot live in isolation from the environment. Once we start appreciating the work of God, then that is when we can take good care of it. If we decide not to think about it, we lose it without realizing it.